Our population needs to be educated on the issue of climate change. In order to conserve energy, in order to look for the future, you need awareness, public awareness. You have to communicate the information so people can take personal action in their choices. The earth produces ecosystem services on which we depend, most of which we don't realize. It purifies water, it produces oxygen, it, it processes our carbon dioxide, things are recycled and so forth. If we destroy its capacity to do that, and that's what we are doing with, with global warming, we are threatening the Earth's capacity to regenerate itself sustainably and also threatening the future of humans themselves. The warming planet produces a number of effects. The increase in temperature itself has a direct effect on humans. Particularly elderly people will be subject to, to heat stroke from warming temperatures. Another effect which is of particular concern to islands and to the Caribbean is the increasing intensity of tropical storms and cyclones, hurricanes. Tropical storms actually developed because of heat. They feed off of heat coming off of the oceans. So increased temperatures would naturally provide more energy for the phenomenon of tropical storms. Uh, since the hurricanes have more heat available to them, they are lasting longer and they are growing larger. So we have more category four and five hurricanes. The heat also causes water to expand, which means that sea level will also increase. In the case of islands, that is a, the, the, the parameter that is of particular importance. Given the fact that we have significant shares of our populations living so close to the coastline, given the fact that practically 100% of our tourism facilities are actually on the coastline, from that perspective, climate change is perhaps the single greatest threat to the sustainability of the islands. There are impacts occurring now, a lot sooner than in fact we projected five years ago. You can see there's a distinct change in the pattern of the climate. Some of the countries in the Caribbean have been experiencing unseasonally high rainfall. You have distinct seasons, you had rainy season and dry season. Now it's anything. Even today as we're meeting, we find ourselves in the midst of the dry season. But over the last couple of weeks since the dry season started, ostensibly we've had heavy rainfall practically every day. You know, it's, it's wonderful for the hills, it keeps them nice and green, but there are literally and figuratively downstream impacts in terms of the flooding, in terms of loss of property, in some cases loss of lives, etc. In an unexpected way, there are economic impacts on people today. People might not realize it, but they are already paying for the effects. The prices have already increased in your insurance because of it, just to give you one example. Food prices have already increased because of it. You cannot separate the additive effects of climate change from the already existing problems. I'm saying we already have serious problems from pollution and deforestation and poverty and so forth. And climate change has just made the matter worse. It's not a separate issue. It is impacting on all of those things and making the solutions even more difficult. It is absolutely important for us to deal with the issue of climate change. If we don't make investments now, we will make it very difficult or impossible for future generations to deal with the problem and the consequences for them will be far greater. So we must take action now. The key is awareness. We have a responsibility to educate our populations on the whole issue of global warming and climate change and what measures we can put in place to reduce our carbon footprint.